new studio, new setup, new scene, and new color grading. So today, we're gonna do it from this to this. How's it going, people? Welcome back to another new episode of The Scenes, and thank you for tuning in again. Well, it's been a while to do this series, The Scenes. For those who just joined my channel lately, in this series, I'm going to show you guys the color grading process of a specific scene that I made before in this channel by using DaVinci Resolve. So previously on this series, I covered a lot of skin tones and vintage look and film look, but I never did the landscape color grading. So I used some landscape drone shot in my latest film, The Good Alps Will Hit You. If you haven't watched it yet, here's a video for you. So from the film, I chose one drone landscape shot for this episode, this. And we're gonna turn this into like this. If you don't know anything about DaVinci Resolve, watch this video and learn four steps and then you can achieve this color grading result. So today I'll show you guys four steps to get a perfect color for landscape drawn log footage. Okay, as always, let me pass the microphone to the guy who does the color and let's breathe a new life into the footage. Enjoy. Hi, welcome back. So first, let's review the original footage. So this scene was shot on DJI Mavic 2 Pro with ND8 16, I don't remember, I apologize that I'm not clear about that, but something like that. And obviously it's D-Log. So the highlight area is not blown out, but obviously it lost some details in it. The dark area, shadow is very clear. So it's just the image has a very strong highlight, which will be main issue in this color grading. So usually I use a bunch of nodes to organize each aspect of color grading process when the scene has skin tone, but this time, only landscape, just mountains and green and sky. So nose will be very simple and easy. I'm gonna make only faux nose. So first, this one will be the contrast and contrast and exposure. Next one will be color, only color. And third, this is, okay, the sky. And fourth, this one is mountains, I mean dark area. So only those for nose. Okay, first contrast. Obviously there is big exposure difference between the sky and the mountain. So in here, I only give a basic contrast to this image, not deep diving into making those two exposure levels even. Okay, so bringing up the contrast as always, just like this. Okay, I'm gonna stop right here. But too much highlight right now. So I'm gonna make it more softer by bringing up the pivot. See, it's getting softer as moving this pivot. All right. But still, this upper area has too much harsh light, so adjusting this by using gain, gamma, and lift. Okay, so lower the gain to reduce harsh light. Just like this. Also reducing the highlight all the way down. Okay, like this. And bringing down the left to get more shadow. Okay. But I want a little bit more light in gamma, so bring this up. All right. And at the last, moving to this log wheel, and I'm gonna use this log shadow to get more punchy black in this image. Okay, enough. Also bringing down this low range to avoid crushing shadow. Just like this. Okay, let's turn off, on, off, on. Pretty good. So important thing right here is don't try to make a perfect contrast at this point. Like I said, there is a huge exposure difference between the sky and the mountain, between the highlight and the shadow. So what I did is giving this image a basic contrast so that I can move on to color section. Without a proper contrast, I can't see what's going on in the color. Later, I'll fix the detail in the sky and mountain. <laughs> Okay, next, it's time to paint the color. So first of all, I'm giving the basic saturation to this image. So just bring this saturation up. Usually I do around 80, so I hope this also works on this image. I think it's good. So this time I wanna emphasize the orange that this mountain has, especially this area. 
and I want clean white blue for the sky. So start off with gamma. So shift this point to orange side. Just like this. It's getting more orange in this image. Okay, I'll stop right here. And moving to gang. So shift this point to green blue side. Just opposite side of gamma. To get like a green blue sky. But not too much because if you do too much of you know doing this like uh, the image will lose the orange just like this so be careful you know the amount of you know this just shift this to green blue side yeah just like this and also i'm gonna move this temperature to orange side to emphasize this orange more so just Shift this to right, which is orange. So you get a more orange like this. So I'm going to do like 100. Yeah, pretty good. Now we have the base. And after this, I'm using those log wheels to do more detailed and specific color editing. Okay, so shift this mid tone to orange, maybe a little bit of pink to emphasize those reds. Okay, and also moving this highlight to opposite side of mid tone again see the sky is getting more blue like okay this is before and as you go to blue side the sky is getting more clean white a little bit green blue okay look now mid tone and highlight those two have the opposite color which is making 3d feel in this image and to give more green to those woods shift this shadow to green side but just a little bit because I'm not doing like a film look like this. I'm not doing like this, it's just a little bit of green. Emphasize the green a little bit by bringing this shadow down to green side. Maybe a little bit more. Okay, good. Okay, now the image is getting some vibes, very good. And this is just an option, but I wanna make those reds pop out more. So moving to hue versus saturation right here, and I'm gonna make a two point on red and yellow, like this, and boost both of them, just like this. Like watch carefully around, you know, those yellow, orange, red area. So as I boost this point, this area is getting more red, like this. But obviously this is too much, so I'm gonna you know, do like this. Also yellow, as I boost this yellow, this area is getting more yellow, just like this. So I'm gonna stop right here. And also moving to hue versus luminance. This allows you to adjust the exposure of each specific color, so if I Okay, make points on red and yellow, and I'm gonna bring this red down. See this image? I mean, this area is losing the brightness. As I boost, it's getting more light. As I bring this down, it's losing the light. So I am gonna make this color more 3D. So I'm gonna bring this red down to get more deep feel in this red. But instead of it, I'm gonna bring this yellow up to make it pop out more. Okay, like this. And the color, this is it. Okay, we're finally here, the main key of this color grading process. But nothing complicated. What we use is only curve and the mask. That's it. So first, make a rectangle mask over the sky just like this, cover the sky with this mask and blur this edge, just like this. And moving to curve, so basically what we're gonna do is make an S-curve. So make a point at the middle, just like this, and bring this down. See, now we're getting detail in the sky. Like this is before, and as I bring this down, we're getting more detail in the sky. See, already those mountains start showing their face pretty good. And let's give a little bit more sunlight. So bring in up the highlight. So make a point around here and bring this up. 
So now, you know, those clouds are getting more light. Beautiful. It's very clean. So I think I am doing... Yeah, like this. Also, to emphasize the shadow of those mountains, I'm gonna lower the shadow and this curve. So make a point around here. And just a little bit, I'm gonna bring this down. All right, and to finish it, I'm giving a mid-tone detail which allows you to add some sharpness so that those mountains can have more sharper edges. So mid-tone detail is right here, so I'm just gonna bring this, you know, right side, boosting this mid-tone detail. So as you go up, the image will be more sharper, like this. And as you bring this down, it's going to be softer, just like this. So this time I want a little bit sharpness for those uh, blurry mountains. So I'm gonna bring this up. Just like this. Look at this, now you just made a perfect S-curve and the detail in the sky. That's it. Okay, moving to final step. Okay, now we're gonna deal with this front mountains, the dark area. Okay, same thing, make a rectangle mask over this front mountains in this dark area just like I did in the sky and blow the edge and again moving to curve but this time I'm boosting a middle and highlight to give more light so again make a point at this middle and boost this just like this to get extra light on this mountain and the same thing highlight boosting a little bit and lower the shadow to make it more contrasty look. So make a point right here and bring this down, but a little bit because you don't want to cross the shadow. Tasty, very good. This mountain area, this dark area is very contrasty, but also it's very colorful. Good light on this yellow, orange, trees, woods, very good. And as the finish, I'm gonna lower the mid-tone detail to reduce the harsh sharpness. Sometimes when the harsh light is hitting the trees, mountains, and wood, they look very sharp. I mean, too sharp, too harsh. So if you are struggling to deal with that, just lower the mid-tone detail to make it softer, which I like and which I do. So I'm gonna bring this down, just like this, much better. And this is it. That was all to get this look from this flat log landscape footage. From this to this. Pretty good, huh? So I'm gonna turn off all of this and let me take you to the journey of all processes we did one by one. Go. Okay, I'm happy with this. My job is done like this. I'll give this back to you. Okay, welcome back. That was simple and easy color grading. No qualifier, no skin tone, no weird, complicated tricks. Just using basic controls, mask, and curve. Even though you are new to color grading in DaVinci Resolve, if you do step by step, you can achieve this landscape log color grading result. And of course, I will share some sample drawn log footages for free with you guys, of course. So check the link in the description below and download it and the rest of it you know what to do. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions about this color grading, don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And if you have any requests for next scenes, also leave the comment below. So today's topic is pretty much it. And thank you for watching this video. If you like this scene, show me a thumb and uh, hit the subscribe. And I'll see you in the next episode.